is the hip movement is not the primary movement. It's the uh, it's almost the consequence of the movement that happens in the knees. So it's the knee what we move and the hip movement that is visible is the consequence of the knee movement. So what we do is now our posture, pelvis is tucked in, chest up, arms spread out and our knees should be soft. It shouldn't be locked completely like this is our knees when it's locked, when we are standing upright and this is bent. Now we need to keep it somewhere in the middle. So this is a soft, this is soft knees and we need to lock it. The movement consists of locking our knees and releasing it, locking it and releasing it. Now, stand in the basic posture and start by locking your right knee. When we lock our right knee, our right hip comes up along the y-axis as a consequence. So, lock your right knee, the right hip comes up. Now, release the right knee and lock your left knee. Now, the left hip will come up. So, lock your right knee, then lock your left knee. Lock your right knee, lock your left knee. The chest, everything, upper body remains as it is. It's isolated. The only part, the only uh, body part that moves is our hips. So, we lock our right knee, the right hip comes up, we release it, lock our left knee, the left hip comes up. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, there is an accent that you will feel when you lock your knee, there will be a vibration that you that you will feel shooting up towards your hips. From your knee towards your hips, there will be a vibration that you will feel in your hips and that is the accent. Now this is sharp piston hip and there is another piston hip called soft piston hip where we don't add the accent, where we just, just lock it and release it, lock it and release it, where we don't add the accent, where there is... There is no vibration that shoots up from the knee to our knee to our hips. So, so this is what basic piston hip hip looks like. Now this imitates the working of the piston, the machine piston, which is like which goes up and down, up and down. So, this is what uh, the basic piston hip looks like. We uh, we can do it sharp when we add the accent. Then we lock the knee, release the knee, lock the knee, release the knee. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the second time is soft piston hips where we don't add the accent, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, this is piston hips. This is the basic technique of piston hips. This is uh, one of the most basic and uh, commonly used techniques of belly dance in general. We use uh, piston hips in literally everything, every choreography combinations. It's very common, it's very um, basic uh, hip movement and a very essential hip movement. So this was about it. I hope you liked what you learned and keep learning.